Hi, this is Sally Morgan, physical therapist, craniosacral therapist, and Tellington T-Touch practitioner for animals and people. And this is Tristan, he's a corgi, and we're here for another episode of Conversations with a Corgi. And it's the time of year when we are very concerned about flea and tick repellent uh, products, etc. So I am going to continue our discussion along these lines today with a look at Frontline it's a product that has fallen out of favor. A lot of people don't like it because they think it doesn't work. And we're gonna take a quick look at comparing it to Advantage and Advantix, and we'll see why people think it doesn't work. Hi, Danny. I heard you have some storms up there in South Dakota. Anyway, so basically the bottom line is Advantix kills and repels everything, including your cat. Uh, one of the active ingredients in it is highly deadly to cats. So Advantix would not be my first choice in any event. And we looked at Advantage 2 and I explained that that's the one I used for fleas to not have fleas affect my dog when I'm on the Cape because it's a high flea population down there. A lot of the hotel and B&Bs and places I stay down there um, allow pets and some of those pets have fleas and leave them for me. <laughs> so I use Advantage 2 two times a year when I go to the Cape. But we're going to look at Frontline Plus because this is one that some people still use and we'll look at why. Frontline Plus kills fleas but it does not repel fleas. And that may be one reason why people think it doesn't work because the fleas actually have to be on the dog. And it does kill the flea eggs and the larva, all of the topicals do. And again, this is one of those topicals where you put a spot here and we still have a little hole in our head where we had a ticky, poor bit. Put a little spot here and then make a line down the back and get the fuzz bonds at the end. Um, so Frontline was one that I used for my first two corgis for a good 20 years. I used it occasionally uh, for flea control, really, more than anything. Frontline also does kill ticks. And as you recall, Advantix kills ticks. But Advantage 2, and again, I use it for flea control only. It does not kill or repel ticks. Frontline kills ticks but doesn't repel them. So if you have a tick and flea problem, Frontline could work for you, but again, it's not repelling the ticks. And so you may have a problem with them still getting on your dog before they bite him and uh, then die. Personally, I like to have something that repels the ticks so that I'm not bringing them into my house. And I do know people that have used in densely buggy infested areas like the Cape and Martha's Vineyard that have used a combination of Frontline Plus with essential oils and cedar um, to repel the bugs. And then if one gets by, the Frontline will kill him. Um, Frontline, unlike the product I use Advantage 2, also uh, kills mosquitoes. This can be an important thing if you live in an area where heartworm is a big problem. Um, Frontline also kills lice um, and that's important i have a friend right now with a corgi who has a lice problem and frontline does kill the lice as does advantage two and that's a big problem like fleas they have a less than 30 day cycle about 30 day cycle between the hatching and the laying of eggs and then the new ones grow up and make more babies so it's really good to have something that kills the lice or the fleas that are living on your dog I just, um, all of these take about 12 hours to start working on your dog. And here's a comparison of the active ingredients. The things that are in um, Frontline are not in the other topicals. The other topicals include pyroproxifen and imatoclopride, which is in the Advantage 2. And Advantage, uh, Advantix includes the same things plus permethrin, which is what is toxic to cats. In the, um, Frontline, we have methoprene and fipronil. And fipronil was one of the first products we had to kill fleas. So um, it still is known for that. They're both waterproof, i.e. your dog can go swimming. It is on the top line of your dog. I don't think I'd do dock diving after I do this. And you do have to let the dog not get wet for a couple of days, it says on the label, uh, before that it's safe for them to go in the water and still have the effects of the product. You reapply these every 30 days. And 
a front line is a good thing. I mean, a lot of people um, still use it and it is a good thing, but because it doesn't repel, a lot of people think it's not working. Um, and, you know, it doesn't, uh, it does kill fleas, ticks, mosquitoes, it repels, um, and also kills. So for mosquitoes, it repels and kills them. So if I lived in a high heart worm area, which is transmitted by mosquito bites, I would look closely at the Frontline Plus. Um, some people think Advantage isn't as chemically harsh, quote unquote, as Frontline, and causes less adverse reactions. So a lot of people like the Advantage too. The downside though is in heavy infestation, um, people think Advantage 2 is a little less effective for Frontline than Frontline Plus, um, which in most cases, usually you have a light or medium infestation. And you have to remember our assessment of heavy versus light and medium may be a little off, but they all work for light and medium infestations. Um, and for very heavy fleas, Frontline is the best choice. So if you have a serious flea problem, use Frontline. But I have used Advantage 2 and I've never had a serious flea problem. I've had the occasional one here and there. I did once have an incredible flea problem, which I'm going to talk about separately in a whole talk about fleas. Um, and I used a, a Frontline at that point, but this is going back 20 years. Um, and I don't think we had Advantage 2 at that time. So of course I used Frontline. So that's a quick look at Frontline. Let's compare it a little bit to Advantix. They're both topicals. You both apply them monthly. They both repel mosquitoes and kill fleas and ticks and mosquitoes. So all mosquito-borne diseases will be affected by the Frontline application. But it doesn't repel um, ticks and fleas, which the Advantix does. But again, when you have a cat or you're near cats or you pet your dog and go to your best friend's house who has a cat, you cannot use Advantix. So that's an important consideration to keep in mind. So like I said, um, they're all supposed to kill fleas in 12 hours, but Frontline Plus says that it works within four hours and it takes the other ones a little longer to get going. So that's an important difference right there. Um, and let's see. And they're just topically applied. I think that was all you needed to know about that. Um, a lot of the adverse reactions dogs have had to these different products, all of these topicals, are a result of applying too much. Like you, like I said before, when I'm applying it to him, he's a 20 pound dog, so he's on the line between small and medium. So I always give him the small size dose because he's a herding dog and he's little and sometimes even weighs 19 or 18 pounds. So think about that when you're choosing the dose you wanna buy, your vet may just say, go out to the front desk and get it, but make sure you get the one that's right for your dog. I've had a 23 pound Corgi and still kept him on the small size rather than the medium because he was sensitive and he wasn't really prone to get um, any of these pest outbreaks like some of my dogs. And so I didn't, I wanted to use as little of the chemical as possible. So keep that in mind when you're buying your um, product, which size your dog is, and also what the problems are in your area. With any of these medicines, um, dogs can have a bad reaction. The usual things are nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, um, seizures in a bad case, um, and you know keep an eye on them um, because a lot of these minor symptoms can become bigger symptoms so if your dog is lethargic um, or any of the other symptoms throwing up uh, really keep a close look on them one of the good things about these is that you can wash them off with um, some certain soaps that are really good at breaking up oil um, so if your dog is having a bad reaction it is possible to wash him enough to get it off of him which is one of the advantages of the collars. If your dog's having a problem, take it off, give them a bath and you're set to go. Um, with these, you have to often give a few more baths. And if you don't have a huge problem, a lot of people use these just three times in the summer, June 1st, July 1st, August 1st, 
or maybe June 15th, um, July 15th, August 15th. So then you're covered through that season in September in a lot of areas where um, you see a parasite increase. Um, if you live in the south, um, you've got a lot longer season for these bugs and you might want to look at some other products so that you're not over chemicaling your dog. The rise in cancer in our pets is astounding and so it's really important that we be wary of these products because they do contribute to cancer in our pets. Um, and maybe not your pet, maybe not today, but over the pet's lifetime. And a lot of people mistakenly, like I have a Labrador I see now, and the woman thinks Labradors live to 10 because her others have all died at that age and they aren't related and she has been feeding them poorly and she's been overusing chemicals. And I have plenty of clients and friends with Labradors who are 15 and that's five more years. That's another third of a life of a dog that she could have with her dogs if she took more care to be aware of what she was doing. She just didn't know. As soon as I told her, she immediately changed everything. Her current dog is on a raw diet, has lost weight, has had a huge decrease in the fatty tumors throughout her body, is much more vigorous, the arthritis is lessening. I mean, there's just been a huge change. So these things really matter. Think about what you're doing with your dog. Make a plan. Like I know I have a flea situation when I go to the Cape and I can't combat it effectively other ways because it's so bad. And so I have to make a choice to use a product when I'm down there. So, um, and of course I hate doing it and I have to sleep with my Corgi with chemicals on him and I can't stand the smell of any of these things. A lot of people think they have no scent, but they do. I'd rather smell the cedar of my hamster cage <laughs> than having to put chemicals on my dog. But we all have to make choices depending on our area and the age of our dog and our dog's health status. So that's a quick look at Frontline, um, which is now Frontline Plus. Uh, you don't see so many ads for it on TV, which is interesting because they're really pushing some of these other products. They're all three made by different companies. So um, as I said, I use Advantage 2 to take care of fleas um, when I need it. So that's a quick look at Frontline. Tomorrow is the royal wedding, a very important day in the life of a corgi because as we all know, the corgis at the palace really took a shine to Meghan Markle. So we will be having a special wedding broadcast. I'm not really sure what time we'll be on tomorrow because of the wedding. Um, I think the wedding itself is happening at like seven or eight in the morning. So by 9.30 when we do this, a lot of the TV shows that are reporting on it are wrapping up at 10. So we should be pretty much through the major parts of the wedding by 9.30, but we might be a tad late if they, we have to wait for that wave at the balcony before we can hear a corgi's point of view about the wedding. So thanks for joining us today. We'll be with you tomorrow. And as we continue, we will be still looking at some of the advantages and disadvantages of these many products for flea and tick control. And I think our next talk will just be about fleas. Are you ready for the wedding? Got your tux ironed? I know, we're gonna to have to have a special tea tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Everybody have a great day. Bye-bye.